Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel and my very first video. Today I just did a look playing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. This guy right here. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and I'll just get started right now. Okay, so I already primed my face, I filled in my eyebrows, and I primed my eyelids just because I think that stuff can be kind of boring so I didn't want to include it in the tutorial but I used the Becca First Light Priming Filter for my face. I primed my eyelids with my NARS concealer and set it with face powder, and I used the Anastasia Brow Waves for my eyebrows. So pretty basic things, uh, nothing super exciting, but I'm just gonna get straight to the eyeshadow. And today I'm playing with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette because I just got this palette recently and I haven't had a chance to really play with it a ton and I feel like there's a lot of really cool looks that can come out of this palette. I don't really have a look planned, I'm just going to kind of play with some of the colors and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start with a fluffy crease blending brush and this pink matte color called Love right here and I'm going to use that as my transition shade today and I'm just going to kind of put that all over my crease and really blend it out well. And in my opinion, blending out your transition shade is really the most important part of any look because if your transition shade isn't fully blended out, then your other colors aren't going to blend together and you won't have a cohesive look. Okay, so I have that blended out kind of as much as I'm going to like it to be blended out. Um, next, I think I'm going to go into the color Volatile, which is the brown right next to it. And I'm going to use a smaller blending crease brush. This one's from Morphe. And I'm just going to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit with that color. And then just to make sure everything's blended out, I'm going to go back into that first brush and love and continue to blend out the crease. So I actually really like the way those two colors blended together. Volatile, I feel like, has almost a blue-ish undertone to it, and that blended into the pink creates a really cool look. I really like it. I'm going to go ahead and deepen up the crease a little bit more and I'm going to take an Anastasia brush, one of the ones that comes with all their palettes, and I'm going to take the fluffy side and the color Passion, this red, and I'm pretty much just going to put that in the outer corner, blending it into the crease a little bit. And this is just to add a little bit of depth to the look. Uh, Make it a little bit deeper and smokier. Obviously, depending on the occasion or where you want to wear this to or what you're comfortable with, um, you can always skip this step. And then once again, going back into that first brush and a little bit of love and blending everything out. And I know this step kind of seems redundant, but like I said earlier, if that first transition shade isn't blended out and if it doesn't continue to get blended out, your eyeshadow isn't going to look as good as you might want it to look. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with my crease right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a really pretty metallic color on my lid. This palette has so many to choose from, but I think I'm going to go into Dazzling, which is this goldy color right here. And it looks like it has a really cool, like, pink undertone to it. I'm excited to see how it looks on the lid. So I'm going to take the other end of that same Anastasia brush and just dip into Dazzling. And I'm going to give it a little spritz before I apply it. 
just to make the colors pop a little bit more. Yeah, that is a really, really, really pretty color. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a gold, like a bronze, but it has all these pink and purple flecks and sparkles in it, and it's super unique. I really like it. Uh, so I'm just gonna repeat the same thing onto my other eye. I'm really, really liking the way this look is turning out. I'm excited. Um, when I first got the, this palette, I was really excited about it because there was a lot of hype around it, but I wasn't really sure if it was going to fit my skin tone or if I was really going to be able to do a lot with it. And I still kind of have that feeling, but I think if I were to use it with other palettes and kind of work with it, it can be a palette that I use a lot just because the metallics in the palette are so beautiful. The mattes definitely aren't my favorite. I mean, I can use them, obviously they work, but I think I have mattes and other palettes that just really do more for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my face a little bit and I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and wipe out any fallout or any eyeshadow that got blended lower than it really needed to be and kind of clean up since Anastasia eyeshadows, as pigmented as they are, do tend to have a lot of fallout. And it's not something that bothers me, but I know that it can be something that bothers other people. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on. I don't typically wear foundation, but I figured for my first video, I would go ahead and do it. Um, I actually just got this because I didn't own any foundation prior to this, but and I tried it once and I actually really like it. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation, and I got the color Soft Honey, and it's a decent match. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of this onto the back of my hand and then apply it using a damp beauty sponge, and I know mine's kind of dirty, I'm sorry. So I'm just pouring this, and I don't really want a lot, but that was kind of a lot. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a concealer brush, like a flat one, and just paint this onto my face and neck in kind of like sections and then blend it out. I finished blending in all my foundation and I actually really do like this foundation for special occasions. Um, I have really dry skin so I appreciate a foundation that stays uh, dewy and doesn't get super matte and I, for a drugstore foundation I think it's really good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and conceal now and I'm just going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have this in the color Ginger. I really don't like to conceal super heavily because I don't like a ton of face makeup on, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes. And a little bit on my forehead to highlight. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'll use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my same beauty sponge. And now to go ahead and set my face, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade N3. And to start, I'm just taking this little brush and going under my eyes. And then I'm going to take a bigger powder brush and lightly, light, and very lightly dust the rest of my face. So now I'm going to move on to blush, and I'm using the MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. It looks like this. It's such a pretty color, and I honestly think it goes with like every single look. It is just really hard to open. So I'm going to take this brush from Eco Tools and just put this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to use my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit, just looks like this. And I'm going to start with a bigger brush in the purple color, which is called Spectra. This one right here. 
and put that on my cheekbones. I think this highlight color is so pretty, especially for deeper skin tones. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush, this one's from MAC, and I'm going to take Eclipse, which doesn't look pink in the pan, but comes out pink on the skin. And I'm going to kind of like highlight my highlight, so put that on like the very tops of my cheekbones. And then also on my nose, above my eyebrows. And then and lastly, I'm gonna take that same highlight and a little tiny Morphe brush and highlight the tops of my brow bones. And also my inner corners. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. So to finish up the lower lash line, I'm going to take the smaller pencil end of this Urban Decay Double Ended Brush and really blend that out all over my lower lash line. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush. This one is from Morphe and go into Volatile, the brown, and continue blending out my lower lash line just a little bit closer up to my lash line this time. And then once that's done, I'm going to take an even smaller pencil brush, also for Morphe, go into that maroonish color passion, and just really blend that uh, on my lash line but only the outer half. So that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into eyeliner. I'm just gonna use the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. It's just a black felt tip pen. And I'm gonna line a small wing. Okay, so I wanted those to be small, but they ended up being <laughs> a little bit bigger than I planned. But, um, you know, it happens. So lastly, for the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. I'm going to do it off camera, but I'll tell you which mascara I'm using if I can find it. Okay, so I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess Mascara, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on, and I'll be right back. So lastly, I'm just going to put on a lip color and I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Rapture. It's like a pinky, purpley shade. I think it'll match my eyeshadow really well. So yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to go ahead and set my face down with some spray. And by the way, this is the Smashbox Primer Water. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching my very first video. And I'll hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.